Have any of you ever heard of a plant called Teosinte? Well, Teosinte is a form of a grass or shrub that, uh, that grows in Mexico and Central America. And Teosinte, which is this plant right here, which is just a baby, is um, considered to be the propagator of modern corn after about seven or eight thousand years. Teosinte is um, basically kind of a grain, it was a grain, became a grain actually, but um, Teosinte is a grass, as uh, seeds it's been bred for its characteristics generation after generation for about seven or eight thousand years by crossbreeding to eventually create modern maize or corn. Now there's but corn is good but maize not maize but uh, Tucente doesn't taste that good. You can eat it but it's not that good producer and it doesn't taste that good. But corn is delicious in various forms. Be for eating or for cooking with or for fuel or for plastics or for sweetening with or for uh, thickening star thickening sauces with for making candies or clothing feeding animals but um, Teosinte is um, was a propagator of corn I just thought that I should share that with you in case anyone wondered what Teosinte is or didn't know where corn came from since there's not very many videos on YouTube that show Teosinte but it said that a long time ago so uh, a, a visitor, a traveler came to Mexico and uh, saw Teosinte saw that it was good to eat so they took some and brought it up to California and then they basically um, planted it and crossbred it generation after generation until they came of corn or maize but now maize or corn is the most valuable crop in America even more than soybeans they plant it all over the corn belt mostly in Nebraska and all that other places Iowa Indiana Mich I'm not sure about Michigan but um, Minnesota, Wisconsin everywhere they plant it everywhere matter of fact I'm going to plant some myself but my favorite kind of corn is Hope Blue Dent it's the kind I grew up with for a while anyway my mom used to uh, cook with Hope Blue Dent and, uh, but then she got tired of doing that so she gave 75 pounds to the San Jose uh, Children's Discovery Museum in San Jose and I remember when, that was back when I was in kindergarten or first grade or whatever I remember my mom carrying three big four gallon buckets of um, each containing 25 pounds of Hope Blue Dent corn to the and I remember getting down to the um, trolley station, the light rail station, and someone had to, a man who's a father of a girl I knew from from uh, kindergarten, who was classmates with in elementary school, was there, was heading to the same place. I think it was a Saturday morning, and uh, he um, helped my mom carry it there, which is very nice of him. But. Um, in a, a museum they would have this exhibit where the like Native Americans they would um, soak it in water grind it and make little patties out of it and then uh, heat it on hot rocks or skillet or whatever and then eat it. It tastes really good that way. Try even try doing it at home. It tastes really good. The Pope Blue Dent corn they used. That's my favorite corn. That was fond memories of Hope Blue Dent. 
So I'm going to grow some, and my grandma was nice enough to buy some for me, which I will come early next month. And so there it is. Hope you believe that. Bye.